Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing video. Today I am going to be opening this box of Battle of Chaos, but before I do that, uh, I'd just like to make a couple quick shout-outs to some fellow Yugi tubers that I have received some mail from recently. So, first up we have Creed, who sent me these lovely few super rares here. We've got a Heretic Seal of Reflection, a Hammer Bouncer, yeah, this is a ridiculous one, and a Noble Arms of Destiny, a card that always reminds me of my early days on Duel Links when I played a bit of a Noble Knights deck, and that was a lot of fun. So this th this one especially I'm happy to have. So thank you very much, Creed, for sending this all my way. And one more, we have these three. These three cards right here, which was an extremely generous giveaway from Zork the Dark One. Don't let his name fool you. He's a nice guy, and he sent me along this Elder Entity Entis, this Infinite Impermanence, and a Nibiru the Primal Being, all from Maximum Gold. So, once again, I'm just floored by this giveaway. This was absolutely insane. Thanks a lot. So, uh, if you haven't already, uh, give those two a follow. I'll leave their information in the description. So now, let's move along. Uh, I have one loose pack of Battle of Chaos. And I'm gonna open this one first. Uh, this will be my first ever pack opening of Battle of Chaos. So let's see what we get, huh? We have this Leaf Place... Leaf Place Plice? How do you pronounce that? How do you pronounce that? This is a psychic? What the heck? Sure, you know what? This... this face. This face right here. This face. That is a mood. Now what is this? This is, uh, well, we actually skipped a ghost trick shot. Okay, cool to see some ghost tricks. Yoradora of Fate. Okay, a Darton the Mechanical Monstrosity. Um, oh, this is a Dark Machine. Okay, Dark Machine, that makes me interested. What, 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 what does this do? Once per turn, main phase. Check the difference between the current and original attack of each monster on the field. Add up the total of each of those differences. Make this monster's original attack become the combined amount until the end of your opponent's next turn. Okay, yeah, that, that involves math. Uh, but my first ever super rare is an S-Force Retroactive. Okay, that's kind of neat. That's a very cool looking... No, oh, it's a warrior, not even a machine, huh? Some sort of Power Ranger, huh? Very neat. Uh, Ogdoatic Serpent Strike and Ghost Trick Festival. Oh, wow, there's actually... A number of ghost trick cards. A doll monster, Miss Maidhin. Interesting, a level four, zero, zero. Oh, welcome to our house. Here I live with Cologne, Grandpa, Demetto, and all the other dolls. Interesting. Huh, wonder what that's all about. And Maple Maiden. Okay, there we go. So that was my first ever pack. Of Battle of Chaos and now I'm going to immediately follow it up with 24 more because this is actually a really cool set. Uh, unfortunately there's not a lot of cards that I'm actually looking for but it does contain that special Dark Magician quite rarely and I feel like I should at least take one stab at actually opening that Dark Magician. So, even if nothing else, that's a card that I'm looking for, and I am going to open this one box of Battle of Chaos to find it. So, here we go. Let us begin. What's it gonna be? What are we gonna get? Well, we have a skilled brown magician. There's a number of these. There's like a a Dark Magician, and a White Magician, and a Red Magician. Well, we've got Radagast to the Brown here as well. And Doll Happiness. Okay, so they're, they are really building on this dollhouse archetype. Neroy the Dream Mirror Traitor. Hmm. Okay, Epsilon the Magnet Warrior. Ah, uh, yes, I've seen this one around. Um, but I don't know what it does. The Magnet Warriors, I'm kind of interested in them, you see. 
Uh, if this card is normal or special summoned, send a level 4 lore magnet warrior from your deck to the graveyard, except Epsilon. This card's name becomes the said monster's name until the end phase. Then you can special summon a magnet warrior or magna warrior monster from your graveyard with a different name than the cards you control. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's definitely some decent magnet support for sure. And yeah, XYZ combine for the XYZ dragon cannon. Oh yeah, light machine union monsters. Uh, th this is cool. I would never have expected them to release support for the Dragon Cannon in the year 2022, but here it is. Here it is, okay. Uh, Dino Morphia alert, yeah. Flower Dino, it sure is, buddy, it sure is. Ogdoatic Serpent Strike, and Smoke Mosquito, <laughs> okay. And this is a wild set. This is a wild set, a lot of weird stuff here. Uh, but hey, that that just makes it more fun to look at as you as you open these packs. So uh, yeah, what do we got here? Ah uh, yes, we've got this leaf place again. Uh, once again, look at that face. Look at that face. And another Eudora fate. Wait, is this ghost trick shot? Ah, the cards are in the same order. And what is this? This mm, Epigonin, the impersonation invader. This is a rock? That is not a rock. You can't fool me, Konami. That is a machine. This is a misprint. This is not supposed to be rock. Tribute and effect monster. Special summon this card from your hand. Then special summon a token with the same type and attribute as the tributed monster's original type and attribute. Only use this effect once per turn. Huh. Well, I'm sure there's a use for that somehow. Uh, S-Force. Lapsawell. Do oh, Dogmatica Macabre. Nice. Cool. Oh, dropped it. Uh, Groza, the Tyrant of Thunder. That's a kind of a cool one. And Dino Morphia Alert. Okay. So I'm taking my time with these first few packs uh, because I've never really stopped to actually look at these common cards. So this is kind of my first time seeing a lot of them. Uh, Kaiza, the Hidden Star. No Wu Ares, the Vernal Dragon. Hmm, nice. Clear New World. What does this do? This looks interesting. Target a face-up monster, destroy it. Uh, you control. And if you do special summon a monster from your deck in defense position with a different original type and attribute whose level is lower than that monster's, negate its effect. That seems good. Like this actually, this seems like a good card. I don't know anything about the game, really, but it seems like a good card. Uh, Dinomorphia Brute. And our first ultra rare is Ursartic Radiation. Okay, looks cool. Uh, Mad Hacker. Oh, it's the Mad Hatter, but it's Mad Hacker. Ha <laughs> ha, funny, funny stuff. Uh, another Miss Mädchen. Uh, Im imprudent Intrusion. And Top Share. Oh, this one. This one I actually... I, I did read this one somewhere. Um, what is this? Uh, reveal a card from your deck, place it on top of your deck. Then your opponent reveals a card from their deck, places on top of their deck. Again, this... I could see this being used. Like, one card, any card from your deck, place it on top. You just need some way to draw that. This seems like a good common. And I kind of want a playset, and I feel like I'll get one in this box. At least I hope so. Otherwise, I will have to spend like 10 cents buying one. Uh, Ghost Trick Siren, right here. Uh, come on, come on. Yes, Ghost Trick or Treat, Skilled Brown Magician, Doll Happiness. Okay, we're starting to see more duplicates. And Vampire Fascinator. That is fascinating. Man, we've got Ghost Trick support, we got Vampire supports. Uh, Dino Morphia Shell, Simorg, the Bird of Perfection, Ghost Trick Festival, and Mutant Mutant. Huh, even got some new mutant support. A lot of neat stuff for decks that I don't play. But it's cool to see nonetheless. Uh, oh, Doll Monster Bear Bear! Even if we get damaged, it's okay, Grandpa Demetto can patch us up. Cool. I wonder what that deck does. I guess I would know if I read any of them. Um, maybe later. Come on, what is this? Dimension Conjurer. 
and Fire Opal Head. A dinosaur pendulum. Oh, a zero. Zero, zero dinosaur pendulum. That's... That's an interesting one. Uh, Ghost Trick Siren and Dinomorphia Reversion. Okay, more Dinomorphia stuff. The Agent of Destruction Venus. And Monster Rebirth. If a monster was destroyed by battle this turn, send a monster reborn from your hand or deck to the graveyard. Target a monster in either graveyard, special summon it to your field. Treat it as special summon by monster reborn. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Ice Jade Erosion, Dynamorphia Shell. A lot of trap cards. What the heck? A lot of trap cards in this set. Well, I gotta pick up the pace here. This is gonna go on forever, Neroy. Uh, Epsilon, Kaiza. Okay, these, these are all duplicates now. White Relic of Dogmatica. All right, more Dogmatica stuff, too. Uh, Smile Potion. If your opponent controls a monster whose current attack is higher than its original attack, while you control no monsters, draw two cards. Hmm, okay. Uh, the Great Double Casted Caster. Okay. Submarine Tour Ride. Sure. And Shining Peacefilia. Huh. Sure. A lot, lot of new stuff in that one. I'll give them that much. Interesting looking cards. Uh, Ghost Trick or Treat, Epsilon, yeah, yeah, you and you. Magic Karibo! Oh, I was hoping I'd get one of these. Yeah, the weird Dark Magician support Karibo. Nice, I'll take it. Uh, if I ever build that Dark Magician deck, we got the Tour Ride, Dinomorphia here, Ice Jade Erosion, and Tyrant of Thunder. Next pack. Uh, we've only found one Ultra Rare. So, uh, there should be another one coming up soon, o or a secret rare, you know, that too. End of the line, with a special guest appearance by Dekoichi, the best card in the game. Branded Disciple, Vernal Dragon, and Dictator of D. Mind out of the gutter, it's not funny. The Agent of Destruction, Impudent Intrusion, Great Double Casted Caster, and another Dinomorphia. Come on, there's, there's got to be good stuff on this half of the box still. Like, we're, we're getting near the end, but uh, Ghost Trick Siren, yeah, Neroi, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, Leaf, Leaf something, Ghost Trick, and Master of Chaos. Okay, well, among Ultra Rares, this one is one of the better ones in this set. There's actually some solid Ultra Rares. This is one of them. Yeah, cool, uh, Dark Magician, Chaos, Black Luster, Soldier, Fusion. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, mutant Mutant, Smile Potion, oh boy, it dropped it. And some other stuff. Uh, no secret rare yet. Uh, emphasis on the word yet. Uh, because there should be one in this half. Um, what is this? Oni... Oni Bimaru, Soul Sweeper. This is a new one. Tribe Drive. Okay, um... Oh, there's like, uh... Uh, Tri Brigade stuff, and maybe um, Plunder Patrol stuff in the picture. Eh, Epsilon Dynamorphia. What do we got? Ice Jade Sea Note Enian Cradle. That's a lot of nonsense words. Uh, Submarine Dynamorphia Monster Reborth and that Shining thing. Definitely not Shining Friendship. Uh, the second last pack in this half of the box, you door of fate. Uh, Darton, Ghost Trick, Ghost Trick, and a Dinomorphia Stealth Bergia. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Let's go with that. DDD Headhunt. Uh, Dogmatica and Dinomorphia. So this last pack, this should be, should be a secret rare. I, I would, I would imagine, right? Silvervine Senri, Fire Opal Head, uh, Ghost Trick. What do we got? We have a sales ban! Okay, well, uh, actually, I think this is one of the not awful um, secret rares, kind of kind of middle of the road. Declare a, uh, mm -hmm, declare a card name for the rest of the turn. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects of cards with the same original name as the declared card. Same restrictions apply to you, but for the rest of the duel instead of just this turn. You can only activate one per turn. This is kind of a Kind of a cool way to just hose whatever your opponent's trying to do. I don't mind it. I wouldn't mind 
couple more of those eventually. Another top share, good, we've almost got our playset. And stuff and stuff, we end on a mad hacker. So the thing about Battle of Chaos is that these boxes are mapped, so the last secret rare should actually be at the very bottom of this pile. Uh, as for the potential Dark Magician, I don't know, that could be anywhere really, Doll Monster Bear Bear. So let's uh, let's dig through this, what do we got, huh? What do we got? We have a Nordic Relic Svelin. Okay, okay. Um, yet another archetype that they made support for, the Nordic monsters. That's kind of an older one too. What's this? We've got uh, Silvervine Senri, yep, Sword Soul, yep, Dinomorphia Sonic, uh, Eurodora of Fate, and Soul and Luna as an ultra rare. Uh, what is this? What does this do? This is a quick, quick play spell. Um, well, I'll tell you, you target a monster you control, and one monster your opponent controls, apply the following effect on each monster depending on battle position. Face up, change it to face down defense position. Face down, change it to face up defense position. Oh, that's cool. This is kind of cool, actually. I'm always, in the back of my mind, I'm always looking for cards that I might use in a potential remake of my old high defense deck from, like, high school. I might use that. Being able to flip stuff back into face down defense position is not bad. Uh, what do we got? End of the line, yeah, and a Dark Dimension Soldier. Okay, Dynamorphia, Ice Jade, grows a Smile Potion. How about this one? Clear New World. Oh, I've got to be approaching a place out of these too. I have at least two of them. Uh, rock scales. This is a new one. What the heck? Level level five fish. Cool. And a Nordic relic. Ooh, I. Uh, mm, Lidskjalf. I don't think I pronounced that one correctly, uh, but I tried. An effort was made. Shining friendship. An effort was made. What do we got? We got more rock scales. Good. Doll happiness. And a, a second Dictator of D. Oh, are we gonna get the playset of these Dictators of D? I hope so. Mutant, Mutant, S-Force, yeah, yeah, and some more. What is in this pack here? We've only got about a quarter of the box left. Ghost Trick Shot, end of the line. And another one of these Ice Jade Super Rares. Hey, there's my playset of Top Share. Glad to see it. Ice Jade Erosion, Mad Hacker. Ah, they're probably gonna print a super rare of Top Share eventually. Some sort of, uh, I don't know, OTS pack or something. Same with Clear New World, honestly. I could definitely see this getting a super rare printing at some point. Uh, Dinomorphia, Dimension something, and, uh, ooh, S-Force Retroactive. We meet again. And Dogmatica, Dinomorphia, Dinomorphia. Okay, we are approaching the end of this box. Uh, Dinomorphia Sonic, yes, Doll Monster. And Timaeus, the United Dragon, is our final Ultra Rare. Huh, so they even have like weird Timaeus support in here. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Mutant, Mutant, S-Force, Maple Maiden. Which means our final Final real big hit should be right at the bottom of this box now. Uh, we have Vision with Eyes of Blue, a continuous spell. Wild. Uh, with a huge effect that I'm not going to read. Smoke Mosquito and Mad Hacker. Mm, unfortunately, it looks like the odds of pulling that Dark Magician are getting slimmer and slimmer. Tribe Drive, yeah. Soul Sweeper. What is this? This is Dark, the Dark Charmer Gloomy. No, I actually play a number of dark monster decks. I might actually consider throwing this in the uh, in the extra deck at some point. It does the same thing as the other charmers, I think, just for dark monsters instead of the other types. Some more ghost trick. Dull monster. Oh, that normal monster at the back of the pack. That is, uh, that is cruel. Cruel placement. You think it's a Dark Magician, but nope, it is not. Uh, Darken, Leaf something, and we have a 
Dinomorphia Domain as the second last pack in the box, so this wasn't exactly mapped. Okay, so we got the Dinomorphia Secret Rare. Interesting. Uh, another Miss Maidhyun Top Share. Good, we got the extra one too. And what is in this final pack? Uh, I don't expect it to be particularly good because we have both of our secret rares, but you know, a skilled brown magician, end of the line, rock scales, and boom, D. D. Griffin. I mean, at least it's a new one. That's a lot of words. But again, at least it's something new. Maple, maiden, smoke mosquito, headhunt, and flower dino to finish it off. Okay. Well, uh, as far as ultra rares go, like this Master Chaos is pretty solid. Soul and Luna, I don't know if it's worth much, but it's a card that I like. Looks pretty cool too. So ultra rares, ultra rares we did okay. Uh, secret rares, I don't know about this Dinomorphia domain, but Sales Ban at least is a cool card. So again, we did okay. This box was pretty okay. Uh, however, that also brings us to the end of this unboxing video. So I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Uh, be sure to check out Creed and Zork the Dark One and their channels. And I hope that you join me again next time for whatever it is I might be unboxing next. Till then, ta-ta. Okay, what's next? Why, oh, oh, we've got a foil, okay. Oh. oh! And our foil. Ooh, I feel like that's a good one. Oh! Hiya! And there it is. The Pot of Prosperity!